Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and I talk about bookish things most of the time. Um, today we're definitely going to be going off topic from some of the bookish things that I typically discuss, but I'm really excited because we're going to be doing a book haul. So like I said, today we're going to be doing a book haul, but not just any book haul. We're going to be doing a baby book haul. Um, if you see my recent videos, then you know I'm pregnant. Um, so we had baby showers and the like. And with that, of course, we asked for books for baby page turn. And um, we got some. We got some. Of course, we'll be, you know, doing our own books or I'll be doing my own, my own books, you know, in the future because um, baby patron obviously needs a um her own library she does it is a girl <laughs> um but she needs her own library of course um uh, so before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything anyway let's get started some of these books i asked for some of these books i didn't ask for and they were just gifted um <coughs> so I'm really excited that we're able to start our library. Okay, so the first book is Guess How Much I Love You by Sam McBratney, illustrated by Anita Jerram. Um, and so I think these baby books are so cute. They're so cute. Like, you know, and I can't wait to be able to read to her and read all these adorable books so guess how much i love you i'm sorry i haven't looked through them i haven't read through most of these some of these books some of these books are classics and you know them some of these books i don't know anything about them so but this was definitely gifted well they're all gifted um the next one is your my little baby a touch and feel book word of eric carl do you must does he do the hungry caterpillar looks like it that's hungry caterpillar Touch and feel. <gasps> You're my little bear cub, both playful and shy. Oh my God. You're my little baby bird. Ooh. You're my little lamb, so gentle and sweet. And then you can touch her. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm sorry. That's so cute. Let's see. I love you to the moon and back by illustrated by Tim Warns. I read this one. This one was adorable. I read this one to myself the other day. Okay, to us. I read it to us the other day. <laughs> but it's adorable. And it's so pretty. You're my little baby. So we have two of these. Awesome. So my mom and I discuss it. And if we have two of something, then it'll go to mom's house. I did realize like when I was making my registry and I merged my like Amazon registry list to my baby list, I didn't get rid of my Amazon list. And so some people bought off my Amazon and some people bought off my baby registry, baby list registry. So I did end up with some duplicates, which is fine, because that means more books in more places. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whose Toes Are Those? by Jabari Asim. Illustrations by Le Yuen Pham. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Toes are those. <laughs> So that's gonna be tons of fun. I love this. Small, some. Here's a new one. Um, Welcome, little one. A love letter to you by Sandra Mag Salmon. Mag Salmon. Um, look at 
Ooh, you fill it in. Welcome little name here. You were born on, oh my goodness. Oh, so it's like a keepsake and a book, and obviously we love it. <laughs> but as you all know, I've got two fur babies at home. I've got two fur babies at home, and because they've made their appearance during some wind downs. Um, <laughs> so someone gave us a book, Dog's First Baby by Natalie Nelson. So on the back it says, I am a dog. Are you a dog? One day, dogs, humans, bring home a new family member, and the curious canine is determined to sniff out the truth. Is this noisy, silly creature another dog or something else? As Dog investigates, he discovers the many ways that he and Baby are alike and different, and he might just find a new best friend. Dog's first baby captures the chaos and wonder of a new baby through a dog's eyes. With bright illustrations and a heartwarming story, this quirky board book promises to be a storytime favorite. I cannot wait. I love my fur babies. Um, it's definitely going to be an adventure introducing them to baby page turn. We're putting some steps in place to, you know, introduce the, the smell of her before we come home to the hospital with some friends and who'll come over and see them and, and all that kind of stuff. So we've got some crap. The books are so smooth. They just slide against each other. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this was another gift. Um, this one's called One Love, based on the song by Bob Marley. Adapted by Sidella Marley. Illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. <laughs> one love. Let me stop. What? I can't. <laughs> I was about to say, one heart, let's get together and feel alright. It says, feel the rhythm of change as one girl transforms her neighborhood for the better. This heartwarming story brings Bob Marley's most beloved song to life for a new generation. It's a testament to the amazing things that can happen when we all get together with one love in our hearts. So, good. We gotta introduce some music culture. Y'all know mama loves music. Mama loves music. So, she will be into reading and into music. <laughs> Had to get this classic, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Had to put it on the list by Eric Carl. Gotta have some of the classics in here. I can't wait. Oh, sorry. Another classic and everybody's favorite bedtime book, obviously, Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown, pictures by Clement Hurd. It's been around for 75 years, that's crazy. Crazy, well, longer than 75 years. This is the 75th anniversary book. Um, some books we got two copies of, another classic, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault, um, illustrated by Lois Elhert. El, El, Elhert. Um. <laughs> of course, you know, if you don't know Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, um, it says, when all the letters of the alphabet race one another up the coconut tree. Will there be enough room? Oh no, chicka chicka boom boom. Roll along on waves for a fun in this lively alphabet rhyme that's now available as a classic board book. Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault's rhythmic chant and cattle caught honor illustrator Lois Elhurt, rainbow of bright, bold, cheerful colors make the merry parade of letters unforgettable. So. The classics. I won't be in my house. I won't be in my house. <laughs> Another one we got two of. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? An absolute classic. Um, 
just an absolute classic by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. Some names we, we know. Some names we know from The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, and it just, it's a classic book and I'm so excited to have it. Um, next one is going to be interesting. Um, it's my first book of baby signs. 40 essential signs to learn and practice. And... I was watching a TikTok and someone was like, you know, it's all fun and games, you know, when you teach teach your kid some some sign language until your child is angrily signing more at you for some snacks. <laughs> for some snacks. And so, but it's like a book. Um, it's like a story book. Um, it's like a children's book as well as it teaches you sign language in between so you know it says up oh, good morning baby is awake and wants to be picked up and so it says in extend your pointer finger and move it upward so up you know and then it says mommy mommy says good morning and gives baby a kiss good morning mommy um, with an open hand, tap your thumb on your chin a few times. Like, like this, pretty sure. I think. With an open hand, sorry. Could be this way. This way, sorry. I don't know why I'm making it so hard and going like this. Sorry, this way. Say mommy. And then it continues on throughout the day. And then says, Daddy, where is Daddy? Peekaboo, there he is. And then it tells you what to do for Daddy. You know, each big word is the word we're learning. Um, word we're learning. And so then we got Daddy. So we've got Mommy, Daddy, and Up. <laughs> and so then we, we learn more. We learn so much. So we're going to learn, maybe. Hopefully, we'll try. <laughs> this one I saw at the store and I bought it for for baby page turn because I love this book. Um, it says, oh baby, the places you'll go. And it is adapted by Tish Rabe from the works of Dr. Seuss. So it is just a, it's just a book that I love. I love the message of of this book, so I love it. This book, and then of course her granny, my mom, saw this book. I think she told me at Cracker Barrel. She saw this book. I think at Cracker Barrel. Grandma loves you, written by Helen Foster James, illustrated by Petra Brown. So of course, um, her grandma got her this book. I'm surprised there's like a, she probably didn't open it. Um, well, she definitely probably opened it, but she probably didn't read that there is a, a page you can write something to her on. So maybe after she's here, I'll give it back to her so she can write her a love letter. Um, for, for baby page turn. So, but that's it for this. I know, quick to the point, they're baby books, um, but I'm really excited. Um, if there are other baby books you just feel like we have to have, link, comment them down below or link them somewhere, um, link them to somewhere, and we'll look into them and getting them their baby books. Um, so I'm really excited. We're happy to have her. Cannot wait to see her. Um, so anyway, that's it for me today, guys. So um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit like, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. I know a lot of instructions. So anyway, until next time, keep turning the pages.